Okay, guys, it is April 7, 2019. Weather wars. Weather used as a weapon. I am going to bring you some information, and I have to tell you, there is so much that's happening right now that I feel very often like I'm just going to burst into tears. I can't believe the state of the world, and I cannot believe the state of the human being in mass refusing to look into information that they need and this is why we can't get anything stopped this is what is happening in Iran right now <laughs> These floods are unprecedented in Iran's recent history. They are very intense, huge, and uh, are covering 23 provinces of Iran, which is very unusual. It is not unusual for Iran to have floods, but these floods are coming after a long drought, so they have surprised both the citizens and those in charge of water management. One thing that we overlook in these incidents is that we have built a lot of dams, we have developed a lot of cities, and people have got too close to riverbeds. Yo, Rossi! It's sad to see people going through all these problems that we could have avoided had we planned for this situation. The BBC doing their, their fabulous uh, propaganda, climate change. Oh, it's because people have uh, built too close to rivers. All right, you know, I am not going to link below to these articles. You can get them just by putting the search by putting the title of the article in a search engine. Weather weapons and earthquake bombs. World leaders condemn Britain and America's secret arsenal. Government-sponsored technologies for weather modification. Washington's new world order weapons have the ability to trigger climate change. Weather Warfare, the Invisible U.S. Military Offenses in Weather Weaponry. I've been doing this for eight years. So many have been doing it for years. And we still can't get through to people that they are using technology to create these weather events. It is not because people built their homes too close to rivers. It is not because of climate change global warming. A lot of people are suffering. A lot of animals. You know, if if you make it out of something like this, then you're traumatized. 
Selling the Rain, Weather Modification as a Weapon of Imperialism. Another very good article. Modern weaponry in the 20th century has increasingly shocked us with its vast array of sophisticated scientific instruments of death, from the ruins of Hiroshima to the jungles of Indochina, we have seen the results of the misuse of science and misappropriation of resources. Vietnam. Vietnam. We used weather modification, U.S. military, to create flooding. In the 60s, don't you think we can create Massive flooding today? Okay, look at this. What is this? Are they creating another, or trying to create another um, land cane? A bomb cyclone? We have not seen these kinds of weather patterns and now we're seeing them on a regular basis. So we've got the jet stream, what, splitting again, going a bit northeast, and then it's going southwest. And we have our next rad weather stations operating to create weather. Let me find that PDF. Weather modification operations with Nexrad, with Nexrad. Nexrad, Doppler radar stations. Oh, yeah, it's very, it, watching this kind of devastation over and over, over again, and we still can't get through to people. A plan for the next phase in weather modification science and technology development. Weather modification science and technology development plans have been constructed 1969, 1976, 1974. Those plans have led to modern weather modification technologies which have been helping the community at large meet water resource requirements for over 50 years. The, the amount of information on weather modification, well, there's a whole lot. There's a whole lot, guys. There's a whole lot, and we can't get people. They still think we're just crazy. We're just crazy. And... I mean, I am, um, I feel so helpless. This is, this is just on this computer. I mean, I had, but I don't have, I lost everything in my storage. But I had CDs and I had those, um, oh, just those memory sticks or whatever. I, I had so many just on weather modification and geoengineering and video after video after video. Kafka Winston World, both channels. I must have posted about 10,000 videos. Posting videos on this here, you know, it's like, it just, how do you, how do you deal when you know that they're using weather as a weapon and when you see the kind of suffering that is taking place? Weather is a force multiplier, owning the weather in 2025. They owned it a long time ago. The executive summary, this is a military document. Own the weather. This paper outlines a strategy 
for the use of future weather modification. Modify the weather, influencing clouds and precipitation, storm intensity, climate, space, or fog, opportunities afforded by space weather modification, artificial weather. Artificial weather. Produce some weather effects artificially, regardless of pre-existing conditions. Virtual weather nanotechnology also offers possibilities for creating simulated weather, a cloud or several clouds of microscopic computer particles all communicating with each other and with a larger control system could provide tremendous capability. Such clouds could be designed to have a wide range of properties. Here, this is all from that one document as early as 1839. Newspaper archives tell of people with serious and creative ideas on how to make rain. 1957 President's Advisory Committee on Weather Control explicitly recognized the military potential of weather modification. More important, a more important weapon than the atom bomb. And it surely is considering the destruction that has been taking place all over the planet. Spoofing options. Yes, spoofing options. It would allow for the capability to mask or disguise our weather modification activities. Yes, because so many people, oh, this is an act of God. Mother Nature, climate change, right? It's man uh, driving cars and... Uh... No, it's not. It's militaries. One major advantage of using simulated weather, deliberate actions appear to be the consequences of natural weather phenomena, and it's relatively inexpensive to do. Weather modification can enhance our ability to dominate the aerospace environment. Weather modification, tremendous military capabilities that could result in uh, peril, <laughs> enhancing friendly operations or disrupting those of the enemy, tailoring of natural weather patterns to complete dominance of global communications and counter space control, weather modification, war fighter, a wide range of possi possible options, potential capabilities, weather modification system, war fighting commander in chief. Tools exist today and they will be developed and refined in the future. And this was a 19, 1997 document, I believe. Increase latent heat release in the atmosphere. Provide additional water vapor for cloud cell development and provide additional surface and lower atmospheric heating to increase atmospheric instability. Vertical cloud development. Haven't you seen vertical clouds? Artificial clouds being produced. And one of the ways in which they create these vertical clouds, they create huge clouds with the use of black carbon dust. Increase the potential and intensity of lightning, increasing the basic efficiency of the thunderstorms. A triggering mechanism initiates the bolt, triggering lightning such as that which struck Apollo 12 in 1968. Induce lightning strikes on the desired targets as the storm passes over their locations. The essential ingredient, ingredient, sorry, weather modification system, set of intervention techniques, infusing either energy or energy, infusing energy. Well, let's take a look at this. Well, I can see right now we have an infusion of energy. Frequencies, microwaves, 
uh, high frequencies coming from Doppler radar stations, NEXRAD, extremely low frequencies coming from Gwen Towers, or extremely low frequency transmitter sites. Okay, when you begin to understand or begin to uh, know what you're looking for, the signatures, you can see the straight lines, you can see all of the perfect circles and squares being developed in this storm. You can certainly see that the jet stream is a little bizarre. You can see the extremely low frequencies. Just look at the very defined cutouts of the precipitation. But you can also go to this site, College of DuPage, and wow! Lots of heating, high frequency heating, which they modulate with the extremely low frequencies, and I've done this over and over. Yes, they can create cyclones, they can create earthquakes, they can create weather. All right, how do I know there's high frequency heating going on right here in this storm? Well, let's go to uh, the composite radar. Ah. Okay, you can see the perfect uh, circular patterns right down here. So go to the sub-regional sections and let's take a look. Ah, NEXRAD Doppler radar creating their NEXRAD harp rings intersecting. So you have one, you've got two, you've got three, and you've got four. Now these make perfect circles and they're all intersecting to bring about this storm. We can go to another sub-regional section. Here they are. You can see on the periphery of the storm all of these circles being made and they're all intersecting and they can create an awful lot of damage via thunderstorms, tornadoes. Look at these extremely low frequencies being set off all over uh, down here in the coast, Florida, Panhandle. You see all of the very defined lines. So they're bringing about another storm. You can see, look at how many harp nexrad rings we have just in this. Let me um, if I I can't I can't zoom in with this, but do you see all of these lines right here? All right, you see all of these lines. Let's bring it back to the start. Okay, you have a lot of extremely low frequencies being set off in Arkansas. As well, you've got them in Oklahoma, but you also have Doppler radar putting out intense high frequencies. All of these circles, so you have a circle here, you've got a circle here, you have circles down here, you got a circle here. Those are the signatures of man's hand in these storms. And man is really working this one, boy. They're intersecting all over the place. Here, over here, down below, high frequency heating, high frequency heating. And that's why you see all of what is the extreme. Let's go back. That's why you see all of the huge red in this storm. That's high frequency heating.
They can also use microwaves to do that. This is deliberate. This is being done by man deliberately to bring about a whole lot of damage. Okay. Um, it's endless. It never stops. Let's just take a, one more look at another region. All right, you've got Texas, Doppler radar, in use. You can see the rings right around here. They're causing so much instability, it is phenomenal. All right, um, here is Worldview. And yeah, you had quite a lot of geoengineering taking place today. Today. And look at the microwaves. You see all the ripples right here? Microwaves in use. You see the straight lines? All of that is the chemicals that they are laying that, well, our military stated use of chemicals. You uh, infuse our atmosphere with chemicals. You put it into the meteorological processes in the right way at the right place and time. You influence clouds, precipitation, storm intensity, climate, space, fog. Nanotechnology offers possibilities. All communicating with one another. Look, this is old uh, and that's why it's very small so I apologize for that but yeah we can achieve precisely aimed and timed lightning strikes and wow potential for psychological operations in many situations could be fantastic the psychopathic militaries that's unbelievable modify the ionosphere the high frequency heating high frequency heating okay high frequency heating coming from our Doppler radar stations, which are mini harp stations, and they shoot pulses of high frequency into the ionosphere that bounces back, modulated with these extremely low frequencies, and voila, you got weather. You have weather. So, modify the ionosphere with many techniques, successfully demonstrated experimentally, ground-based modification techniques employed, vertical high-frequency heating, oblique high-frequency heating, microwave heating, magnetospheric modification, military applications of such operations, low-frequency, uh, high-frequency ducted communications, creation of an artificial ionosphere. They have been doing this for decades. Decades. The implications of such control are enormous. They certainly are. They certainly are. New technology to enhance rainfall and thunderstorm clouds and generate cirrus clouds, carbon black dust. Enhance rainfall with carbon black dust. Generate cirrus clouds with carbon black dust dust and how it works you know think of a black tar roof how it easily absorbs solar energy subsequently radiates heat during a sunny day carbon black also readily absorbs solar energy dispersed in microscopic or dust form in the air over a large body of water becomes hot heats the surrounding air, thereby increasing the amount of evaporation from the body of water below. The surrounding air heats up, parcels of air will rise, 
Eventually, it will condense to form clouds. Bingo. Population density. Put pressure here. By 2015, advances in computational capability, modeling techniques, and atmospheric information tracking will produce a highly accurate and reliable weather prediction capability um, validated against real world weather. In the following decade, population density put pressure on the worldwide availability and cost of food and usable water. Massive life and property losses associated with natural weather disasters become increasingly unacceptable. This is the manipulation to get people to accept weather modification by man and to accept the climate change. That's why we're, we're inundated now with uh, weather being used as a weapon all over the world. They want people to, to really be so vulnerable and broken that they will finally, they'll come out and say, okay, man, you control the weather because this climate change, the damage, people losing life, life itself being destroyed. Look at Iran. Look at the Midwest right now. Um, this is the manipulation techniques. That's what they're doing right now. Manipulating the population. So here, they say it. Um, the massive life and property losses associated with natural weather disasters. <laughs> this is not natural weather. This is man creating the disasters. They want everybody. It, it's going to be increasingly unacceptable for people. These pressures prompt governments and our organizations who are able to capitalize on the technological advances of the previous 20 years to pursue a highly accurate, reasonable, precise weather modification capability. The increasing urgency to realize the benefits of this capability stimulates laws and treaties and some unilateral actions, making the risks required to validate and refine it acceptable. We're going to see so much destruction caused by weather being used as a weapon. And because people will, well, that's those spoofing abilities with this. They think it's natural. So people will accept anything for it to stop. So man is going to come out and say, I can control this. By 2025, the world or parts of it are able to shape local weather patterns by influencing the factors that affect climate, precipitation, storms, and their effects, fog, and near space. These highly accurate and reasonable, precise civil applications of weather modification technology have obvious military implications. And this is particularly true for aerospace forces Man, oh man. So here, their schedule. So this is what they have been doing according to this document. All right, 2005, well, they were already, um, they were already engaged in precipitation modification, storm modification, artificial weather. Now, artificial weather, and it just continued. By 2025, all we'll get is artificial weather, and I believe that that's all we're getting right now. And this is their, the systems, the system development roadmap to weather modification. Gwen, Gwen, towers. The ground wave, that the Gwen towers that emit the extremely low frequencies either into the atmosphere or through the ground. Sensors 
computer modeling, communications, chemicals, aerospace delivery, vehicles, directed energy, artificial ion, ionization, smart clouds, nanotechnology, carbon black dust, weather force support element virtual weather. This is what they could do, precipitate, oh, or <laughs> enhance precipitation, or, or get rid of the precipitation. Flood, decrease comfort level, morale, storm enhancement, precipitation denial, deny fresh water, induce drought, all of which they are doing, all of which they have been doing. Now it's well when you see this kind of suffering that is taking place, it's hard. It's really hard to take, guys. I'm sorry. Um, Southern student organizing relief drive for Midwest farmers devastated by floods. We can't survive without our ranchers or without our farmers. Farmers, And if they suffer, we all suffer. So this woman, who is a, a first law, a first year law student, I believe, um, Hillary Vargas. Yeah, first year law student at Southern University. She's partnered with uh, Southern's Agricultural Center to collect supplies for flood victims hundreds of miles away. At least one million acres of farmland went under water across nine states. Thousands of acres of pasture ground were swamped. Many farmers can't even get out to their pastures. Pasture. Um, so she's working with this organization to coordinate the relief and get the right supplies to the right people. He said hay is coming in from all over the country to feed cattle, but there's other urgent needs. Fencing supplies is the biggest need right now. Barbed wire, fence posts, wooden posts, gates, that type of thing to build fence because most of their fences are gone. Over-the-counter medical supplies for livestock. Um, we definitely need people to transport preferably people with CDLs, semis, things like that, as well as people with trucks and trailers. Flooding may be out of sight for all of us. We just go on, right? They have to live this. The Midwest floods will eventually ripple across the country, and they will. And these are very proud people. They don't like asking for help, but they'd be the first to take their shirt off their back to help someone else. The way I was raised, when we need help in a family, we are all there for each other. When there's a loss, we come together and we provide things for one another. Well, family seems intact in the Midwest. But they all need help. So here is the information where you can get in touch with Hillary Vargas her phone number, her Gmail. You can send her a message on Facebook. She's collecting supplies through the end of the month and then coordinating their delivery to Nebraska. So, Oregon. Widespread flooding. Likely after heavy rain in Oregon. Uh, flooding in Texas. If this video will come up, please. Okay, flooding in Taylor, Texas. And here we go. Uh, what else do we have? We've got Texas storms damage homes, cancel flights, knock out power to tens of thousands, possible tornado damaged homes, and other buildings in San Gabriel. Uh, so, uh, this house, 
completely destroyed. Family says their home may be a total loss after a possible tornado in San Gabriel. A 95-year-old woman was inside at the time. Fortunately, she was not hurt. Uh, more severe thunderstorms are coming. Texas, Louisiana, lower Mississippi Valley, on to the Carolinas, starting tomorrow. Well, where is it then? Uh, I guess it's going to be traveling really fast to get to the Carolinas. Now, what is interesting is when you come to these sites, you have a whole different, uh, these images, these of precipitation, it's completely different from what you see on this radar. So, didn't you see all of that massive amount of storm? Well, this is essentially the same time period. So, are we looking at manufactured storms coming back into Nebraska? Well, I... Flooding in Louisiana. U-Haul extends 30 days free self-storage. Eight facilities across seven cities are now available to assist flood victims. Um, New Orleans, Louisiana. What's going on in Louisiana? Rising water from steady storms have caused damage to many homes, creating a need for self-storage where possessions can be stowed during recovery efforts. All right, please let us know. Baton Rouge, wow. More flooding for you guys in Baton Rouge. Really? Well, they target areas repeatedly because you're just living too close to the coast. Severe storms, flooding downpours to threaten southern U.S. in into early week. Large hail, wind damage across the south. On Saturday, yesterday, uh, additional rounds of severe weather and flooding downpours will target these areas. Perfect word, target. Yes, target. And that's what's happening. And this is not God targeting or Mother Nature targeting. It is man targeting these areas. Portion of Interstate 35 was shut down in Austin, Texas. Uh, after dark, severe weather risk will make it important for residents to keep their cell phones on and charged with audible severe weather alerts. Well, do that because an awful lot of people have been surprised after midnight with very destructive storms. And this is widespread flash flooding, homes flooded, heavy rain, Emerson to El Dorado, um, Arkansas. Oh. oh, well, not for broadcast. Sorry, are you going to give me a copyright strike for playing a few seconds? They may have an algorithm. Oh man, I can't do this anymore. Look guys, they can suppress or intensify weather patterns, create new weather patterns, alter global climate. Suppression, intensification, completely new weather patterns, attenuation or control of severe storms, even alteration of global climate on a far-reaching 
and or long lasting scale. Two key technologies are necessary. Advances in the science of chaos are critical. The ability to model the extremely complex nonlinear system of global weather made to order weather. Made to order weather. Civil applications of weather modification have obvious military implications. Increasing urgency to realize the benefits of this capability stimulates laws and treaties and some unilateral actions. Making the risks required to validate and refine it acceptable. These highly accurate and reasonably precise civil applications of weather modification technology have obvious military applications and yes, the possibility of developing this capability and applying it closer than one might think. We applied it in Vietnam. Weather modification, national security policy, both domestic and international. A part of national security policy with domestic and international applications. Domestic meaning here, the Midwest, Louisiana, the hurricane, South Carolina, North Carolina, Texas has its own weather modification. Well, most states do have their own weather modification associations, the fires, it is all, we're at war, okay? We are at war and we can't get through to people. It appears to be the consequences of natural weather phenomena. Deliberate actions appear to be the consequences of natural weather phenomena. And it is not natural. Please let us know what's happening in your area.